and welcome to my Friday Sews. I am Jen, this is One Girl Creates and uh, we need to say thank you to Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room for setting up this fantastic hashtag that thousands, I think, of YouTubers seem to follow. So um, if you want to go and find some new people, just search the hashtag and you will find a plethora of people putting videos out under the Friday Sews hashtag. So what have I been doing this week? Well, I have been, I've been quite busy actually. First thing I've done, as you can see, I have finished my cardigan. Let's see if I can stand up and show you what I've got. It does not go in my skirt, do apologise. But yes, I finished my cardigan. Um, mostly I'm happy about it. The only thing that I don't like is, as you can see, the sleeves are huge, absolutely massive. So the next time I make this, and there will be another time, um, I will downsize on the ribbing with my needle and make that tighter and see what that does if that doesn't then do it I will then take a couple of stitches out of the sleeve because as you can see there's quite a lot of room there as well I could take I could afford to take a couple of stitches out of the sleeve width as well so um but yeah it's comfortable it does the job it goes really nicely with my um my dress and my top that I made recently my yellow and blue top and my black no black navy the floral dress that I lie right I made recently it goes really well with both of those so that's good so it serves a great purpose in my wardrobe um and as I say the sleeves aren't that big though they worry me so it's good I'm really pleased the next thing I've been doing so this week um oh no sorry the next thing I did before I go on to the next one the next thing I did was I did actually sew my heyday dungarees so I will insert some pictures there and uh, and show you my heyday dungarees I am incredibly pleased with these they are so comfortable um and I've got lots of lovely comments about them when I've worn them um they've been worn a couple of times already I only finished them last Saturday I think um so yeah they are just brilliant perfect for slept around at home they go with everything and it's just so nice so really 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 pleased with those and um, hopefully you will see that they are very comfortable and um, and yeah I'm very very pleased so yeah that's the next thing I've been doing I feel like I'm rushing again today I don't know why I know I've got to get on with some work so maybe that's why I'm rushing but yeah so the next thing I've done is I have been this week on a bit of a bag making mission and it started off with this little one so I have made bags before, not not huge amounts, but I've made little little bags before. Um, and I wanted one that I could put my knitting stuff in there, like the little um, accessories that I need to take around with me. So like, so I've got my darning needles, sorry, darning needles, a uh, little pair of scissors, tape measure, some stitch holders, some stitch... Um, uh, blah, 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 markers place markers that sort of stuff so just something little that I could take with me that wouldn't get mixed up in the actual wool in my bag and um, and yeah so this was the first one I made now obviously I like to make things difficult for myself and this is small and I found that the smaller the box bag is the harder it is to work on don't make my mistake don't start off with a small one. Um, but otherwise, I'm very pleased with it. It does the job. It does exactly what I wanted it to do. It's nice and big. And it, yeah, it's cool. I like it. I love the hedgehogs, obviously. This is a fat quarter from So Haley Jane. And um, it's just ridiculously cute. So, yeah, I really love that. The next bag I made, actually, I think is my favourite of the three. Now, I did also need a pencil case for, I'm hopefully going to be doing supply teaching after it, like Easter holidays. So I could be going to any school in the sort of vicinity. So I needed to be able to transport all my stuff with me and take what I need. So most often most schools do marking with like pink and green pens so you have a pink and green pen or a red pen or whatever I, I try and cover all bases type thing so i thought okay i will make myself a pencil case and the pencil case i have made is this little stunner and i absolutely love this one it is a um it's just a normal sort of boxed in bottom with a curved top and i just followed a tutorial on youtube um yeah and i'm so pleased and what is really good about it is that when you open it up 
everything is open to see and I love that. Um, the other thing I have, which I have to show you is, I don't know if you can see this. So I have a little bell. Now I found this in a local, um, my mum, actually where my mum lives, it's a retirement village type thing. And they have, uh, they had a little bric-a-brac sale type thing to raise money to put flowers in the gardens. So I found this, it had a, like a different top on it. So what I've done is I've actually encased that with resin, that is paper, but I've encased it in resin and I've just made it look a bit prettier, a bit more like me, because before it was, um, I think possibly some sort of army type thing, but it does the job. And I, I think that kids, I don't want to shout. Like I, my voice goes quite easily. So I don't really want to shout. So having a bell will be something that will be like, oh, you know, they won't expect it. So I thought if I have a bell in my thing and it fits perfectly in my pencil case. So I, um, I've made that. Oh, and inside, sorry. Let me show you the inside. The inside is also honeycomb. So we've got the outside, which is bumblebees. This is again, another fat quarter from So Holy Jane. And the inside is bumblebees, this fab bright yellow. Um, it's actually a coat zip that I have had for, I think about 10 years. Um, I can't even remember why I bought it, but there was a reason why I got it. Um, probably to do a job for somebody and then never never actually got around to doing it or whatever, they never checked, came back. But yeah, so this, this is probably my favorite bag of the week. Although there is another lovely bag as well. So that was that. And then I thought, well, you know, I'm on this bag making fix at the moment. I need a new makeup bag. My makeup bag is a little bit old and tired and I've had it a couple of years. I mean, it probably still does the job, but you know. So I've made myself a nice, pretty new makeup bag. And again, this is a So Hayley Jane um, fabric. And there is a lovely coordinating fabric inside. Okay, there we go. And um, yeah, my little makeup. I don't, I don't wear a lot of makeup, but um, I'm trying to make myself wear it again because I feel like I've sort of let myself down recently. <laughs> Not let myself down, but you know what it's like. Sometimes you just get into this fix like, oh, I can't be bothered. And um, it's not the right attitude to have. So, yeah, so I've been trying to put more makeup on recently. So I thought I'd treat myself to a new makeup bag as well. So this is my new makeup bag. I absolutely love these big leaf prints at the moment. Um, I've also um, quilted it, which I thought was was quite nice. I haven't, I have done a little bit of that before. I haven't really done very much of that. So I thought that was fun. Obviously boxed in the bottoms. Um, but yeah, so I love this bag as well. I didn't show you the inside of the hedgehog bag. The inside of the hedgehog bag again is just as pretty because it's got a nice pink floral fabric. Um, I don't think that that one is a So Hayley Jane. I've got a feeling that that might be from a set that I bought from Hobbycraft, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, so, and all of them have got, oh, all of them except for the leaf one have got tabs. So these ones obviously are rather long. So obviously I learnt my lesson on that one and then made these ones a bit smaller. Again, not even, it's all practice makes perfect, isn't it really? But they do the job. So yeah, so that's them. That's my three bags. And then I still wasn't finished. I still was not done with making bags. And I was chatting to my mum and she wanted, or she needs actually a new handbag because her bag is actually falling apart like the straps are pulling she puts a lot of stuff in her handbag and the straps are pulling so much that they've ripped so i've made her a new bag now it is missing a clasp but this is the bag i've made my mother um so yeah so missing a clasp at the moment but this is a self-drafted design there was a lot of swear words that came out when i was doing this bag um and I'm very pleased with the shape and everything else. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of, there was a lot of bad language that came out of my sewing room because leather obviously doesn't move as well as even corduroy and then corduroy doesn't exactly move great either. But yeah, a lot of bad words, a lot of bad words. But that is going to be my entry, I think, for the So Selfless April because um, <clears throat> it's not for me, it's for my mum. So, so yeah, so that is the bag I've made her. I am very pleased with it. It has a nice little strap um, and it's perfect for her to just put over her shoulder. It has some more of the bee fabric 
from So Holy Jane as the lining. Um, and then there is a pocket with a stitched with love, I think it says on their label, which I got in my So Holy Jane box, which is a Specky Seamstress um, label. And I thought that was perfect. And then obviously more more of that fabric on the flap as well so yeah so i think she's very pleased with it. she's seen pictures of it she's got the clasp which is why the clasp is not on um so she's going to go through and find out one find one that she wants to use on that but um it will be some sort of probably magnetic clasp or something like that but yeah so i'm quite pleased with that proud of it um i love the the pattern on it the triangles and stuff like that so yeah it's quite cool I'm quite pleased anyway so that's it so that has been my makes for the week um my plans for this week i did actually cut out the pattern of the westcliff dress but for some reason there is something that is stopping me going to do it i need to just get on with it um but today is a writing day for me i'm going to be getting my backside in gear and trying to write some more words for my dissertation so um i think i've done enough sewing for this week and last week but yeah so um i will be doing that but i'm sure there will be a few more makes maybe in the evenings to treat myself after i've done some writing so as long as i do some writing i get to play that's my way way of working so um yeah um that is my week of makes my plans for this week ahead if i do get time are i will try and get the westcliff dress done it's just annoying me that i'm not doing it i don't know why i'm not doing it i'm just not in the mood um but i think i just need to bite the bullet and get on with it um and see because i'll only find out if i like it if i try it um i've also been looking this morning at the zabine skirt from little pomegranate um and i might try and make that out of the lilac crepe i got from so Haley jane a couple of months ago i do have a problem i mean i know there's been a lot of hoo-ha this week about um what Beck sews comments about her luxury box fabric. I haven't yet had my box for the um, the classic box. Um, although I have unfortunately seen the odd peak, although not really searched, not really looked at it properly because I'm trying to hide it from myself, but hopefully that will come today. Um, but it was a big, this, the one we had a couple of weeks ago or a couple of months ago was a big print crepe. And where I'm so sure, I generally don't wear big prints on the top because as being busty as well they just make it look bigger so i will wear like a skirt with big print maybe and a plain top and that's fine it i can use it so that's my plan is possibly to use that pattern the little the sabine pattern my little pomegranate to make um a skirt from the crepe because it is also elasticated waist which then is also comfortable and i can use it for school and blah 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 same old same old so yeah and i'm trying to as i say trying to push myself to use different patterns that i've not used before do different things because i do get stuck in a rut as we all know so yes yeah, so that is a very very quick fly by night friday sews um what else has happened this week um, obviously it's school holidays so we've been we've been actually been home quite a lot although we went around my in-laws house on easter sunday had a absolutely delicious roast dinner um roast lamb so that was lovely and um we helped them with their garden because they are moving down to the south coast soon um so yeah just help them with some heavy lifting work type thing i say i helped them i helped a little bit my husband did most of the work um but yeah, it was a lovely trip up there and um, got some rhubarb, which I now need to make into something, which I keep forgetting is in the cupboard. So I must get on with that. Um, last year, I made some rhubarb and ginger jam. Um, was that last year? Maybe even the year before. But yeah, last year, I think it was last year, I made some rhubarb and ginger jam, which went down very well. But we still have some of it. I mean, there was they, their rhubarb has exploded and it was exploded last time. And we've got like a massive like armful like that of rhubarb to make stuff out of. So I need to find something else to make. So if you have any suggestions of what to make out of rhubarb that will last a long time, obviously rhubarb pie will be made at some point because it's delicious and or rhubarb crumble probably because that's my husband's favourite. Um, but if we have any other suggestions of something that you can make a preserve of some sort that we can make with rhubarb, please do put them below because I would love to know of something different to make um but yeah so i've got lots of rhubarb to, to deal with as well um and then yeah that's about it really i think nothing else of 
any great interest to tell you. I um, I am hopefully starting some work on Monday, so I'm back to sort of almost full time hours for the first time properly being paid for it anyway, for the first time properly really in about three and a half years, which is going to be a bit of a shock to the system. Obviously I've done placements, but then they stopped after seven or 10 weeks. Um, but this is gonna be a full term hopefully of working as well as finishing off uni. So yeah, so that's my life really, that's my life update. So I hope you have enjoyed what you've seen today. Um, hopefully I will have some more to show you next week. And um, if you've enjoyed what you've been watching, please do press the like button, click the subscribe button if you'd like to see more and um, please leave a comment below. I always answer. I will always put some sort of um, comment in and, you know, I do really appreciate connecting with you people out there. I really do. It's just it makes the world a bit smaller and it makes me feel not quite so alone as a sewist. Um, and I now there's a few out of there that I've met in real life and it's lovely. It's just so lovely to have people that you that understand your needs to create. It's really lovely. So yeah. So there we go. Thank you very much. See ya. Bye. <laughs>